welcome back one and all to Trail of the Cold Steel. I am the Dark Seraph, and last time we fought a Lich Ghost, and I got pissed off because it was an annoying fight. And then we wound up here in this cutscene. What not freaking in? Seriously, stop that. Look, and I get it. Story important stuff. I get it. Shit's going down. Yeah. Ouroboros. That's something from mythology, I don't remember. Okay. Let's kick some ass. Okay, a secret society built the mechanical thing. You wanna tell me about your powers? please that's a good he should be strict I'm not even sure where I'm supposed to go. Well, this leads to the barracks. I can't even explore there, and there's no way down onto the lower platform, so this is clearly not where I'm supposed to be. That's the command center. I'm not allowed in there. Mortar pool? Mortal mortar pool? Yes, there's some people in here. Armored vehicles. Elliot and Elisa. Yeah. 
yeah. Yeah, she probably would be uncomfortable around her family's tanks and armor and personnel carriers. Okay, this is back where I was before, so perhaps whatever's over here the fortress. There's a nice looking airship. platform in the Galleria Fortress. So, is there anyone out here I can talk to? Yeah, try to stay out of trouble, I get you. And there's three people over here. Milliam's here as well as well as Usis and Gaius. track of who I have and haven't talked to. Let's try the freight platform. I haven't been out here yet. Yeah, there's somebody out here. On the other side of the platform. How am I supposed to get over there to talk to them? Oh, that's a treasure chest. I need to go to the fortress storage room to get around over there. Okay. Well, there went that. Taking part in a military exercise. 
running around in the armored trucks. Trucks. Trucks! Fortress Annex, Military Training Grounds. Battle Tanks. Welcome! I'm expecting to see Elliot's father. There he is. Reporting Lieutenant General. Very good, Nightheart. And Instructor Valstein. Pleased to meet you. It's an honor to make your acquaintance, Lieutenant General Craig. Allow me to extend my deepest thanks for attending, <clears throat> agreeing to cooperate with us for the Military Academy's curriculum today. <clears throat> I don't know why I said it like that. Ugh. Think nothing of it. Many of those fine youngsters may one day hold positions in the Imperial Army, after all. Besides, I owe a lot to old General Van Dyke. And these must be... What a piercing share. So this is Craig the Red. Elliot, my boy! It's so good to see you again. Must have been half a year since now. Since I saw you. How have you been? That's a sharp looking uniform you've got too. I've seen the photos, but it looks even better on you in person. He's still his father. Dad, come on. You've still got a long way to go if you want to put on some, on some real muscle. There's a part of me that hopes you'll never that you'll stay my little cherub forever. But you're a man of Arabonia. And the men of the Empire must be strong, stout, and ready for action. It was for your own good as a man that I held back my tears and enrolled you in the military academy. I can't breathe! Uh, I feel like everything I've been told about him was a lie. There do seem to be some differences from the stories. Are you kidding me? He seems like a cool guy. He may be the strict and sterile milit lieutenant general of the Imperial Army, but he's still Elliot's father. <laughs> what a delightfully, what a delightful commanding officer you have, Major. Words fail me. Dad, knock it off. I'll tell Fiona. Moving right along. <laughs> Olaf. Craig. I am Lieutenant General Olaf Craig, Commander of the Imperial Army's 4th Armored Division. I've been entrusted with the role of overseeing today's joint military exercise. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. L likewise, sir. It's a pleasure. You've got one hell of a dad, Elliot. Believe me, I feel it in my bones. Now, let me give you a brief rundown on what will be happening. The exercise will consist of a simulated battle conducted by two of our armored divisions. Armored reg regiments at the Formation Center, infantry, armored cars, and airships will work in tandem, using their maneuverability to the fullest to obliterate the targets. As our targets today, we'll be using previous model tanks that have been decommissioned from service, and then they'll sell the scrap metal later. Autopilot functionality will allow them to evade and return fire, 
but they've been only... Paint bullets! Yes, they, that's actually a thing. That's how they train soldiers in combat. Paint bullets. However, all other regiments taking part in today's exercise have been equipped with live ammunition. So keep your distance. So you actually intend to destroy the other tanks? Huh. It would hardly be a live fire exercise if we didn't. It's a good point. Those are old, outdated tanks anyway, and they're going to sell them for scrap metal. The current time is 1400 hours, right on schedule. Begin! Armored divisions 4 and 5, commence combat operations. Glory to the Empire! Begin! Fifth Armored Division. Armored Regiment will advance first. Armored Car Regiment and Infantry Regiment follow their lead. Fourth Armored Division Regiment and Infantry Regiment advance together. Armored Car Regiment deploy to the left and right. Thus, the military exercise came to an end. The 4th Armored Division, led by Lieutenant General Craig, withdrew to an encampment near the fortress. Meanwhile, we returned to the fortress where Major Neidhart outlined the results of the training exercise. After that... Sorry I had to wait for us to finish. Don't worry about it. We're the guests here after all. Thank you for your consideration. At the very least, I'd say dinner is a million times better than lunch was. I mean, it's hashed beef day. That's an Imperial Army tradition, isn't it? Oh, just the smell's making me hungry. Where'd your instructor go? She's a real looker. I was hoping to get a chance to talk to her. She went to see the fortress commander with instructor Nightheart. She did ask us to eat without her. Ah, right. 
And she's with Major Nightheart. It's hard to compete with these guys from the 4th Armored Division. I am getting cotton mouth. I need a drink. So just enjoy what they're saying without my lovely and sultry voice narrating. See you tomorrow. I guess you figured out I'm back. I have a Sprecher. Cream soda. Sprecher makes some good shit. It's a little expensive and a little hard to come by, but it's pretty damn good. They make fine craft beer and soda. Microbrewed with real honey. That's actually delicious. It's like night and day compared to what we had for lunch. You're telling me. Huh. Oh, come on, guys. What's with all the Lokolomi faces? You think you guys might have had a bit too rosy and have an outlook? What were you expecting to see out there? I'm sure you can understand at least a little how we feel. It's like has everything we've learned in our time at the Academy been for nothing? Academics, the arts, individual skill in combat. None of these matter in the slightest in real warfare, do they? Well, skill in combat would matter quite a lot. It's true. If you're looking to do... All you're looking to do is fight a war, you don't need any of those. You need skill! All you need are plenty of troops at your command, the latest weaponry, and overwhelming firepower. And the skill to use that firepower. Skill is kind of important. Soldiers have to pass a marksmanship training. Assuming you know the tactics to use them well and strategy that employs them effectively, I suppose. Thank you. The Oxens are more powerful than I was expecting them to be. I remember my mother boasting about their capabilities when she was trying to sell them to the army two years ago, but to be honest, I'm feeling somewhat disheartened by as well. I can't see there being a place for swords on the battlefield with weapons like those on the front line. I don't think that means individual combat skill doesn't matter at all. Still. I think maybe we've been misunderstanding something on misunderstand ba 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 still I think we're maybe I think maybe we've been misunderstanding something important all this time what we saw today in that military exercise was power in its purest form it has no morality of its own it exists to bring a better result, regardless of the ideals or principles of those who wield it. True. In a sense, the same can be said about a sword or a gun. And all the way up to something like as huge as the railway guns. I think I finally understand why they wanted us to watch that military exercise in the first place. They could have taught us about that in a less roundabout fashion. Well, it looks like you didn't start. It looks like you didn't wait for me to start the party. Hi, Sarah. A weapon is nothing more than a tool, an inanimate object. It has no feeling or emotion. A weapon is nothing more than a tool for a means to an end. You spoke with the commander. Sure did. I got up-to-date info on the trade conference, as well as the latest on the terrorists. Interesting.
Every nation possesses power in the form of a military. Whatever that military were. Whether that military is large or small. Garaliah Fortress just happens to have that power in the very striking, easy to understand form. As students of the Military Academy, you have an obligation to know the scale of the power. The Empire of Erebonia wields, at present, a power you might one day be in charge of yourselves. Anyway, even a meeting that long couldn't keep me away from trying the famous hash beef rice. We should probably finish eating. Yeah, though, it's gotten a bit cold by now. Maybe I'll go ask for seconds. Oh, oh, Eustace, if you don't want the rest of yours, can I have it? I'd sooner throw it away than give it to you. What is with you and her, Eustace? Should do it. That covers today's quota. I'm looking forward to a nice long bath. Well, you know how every time there's a military exercise coming up, the workload gets pretty crazy. Yeah. Huh? An orb mail from headquarters? You gotta be kidding me. This right here is the problem with the orbital net. There's no such thing as off hours when they can just send you orders around the clock. What's going on? So get this, they're planning on doing some exercise tomorrow. That means we gotta outfit 20 ox ends with C units by tomorrow. 20. Seriously? Might as well start another pot of coffee. We're in for an all-nighter for sure. Do we even have that many C units left? Actually, another lock came in by freight train this morning. Exactly 20, if you can believe it. I guess we'll have to get this done. Shit. At least let us take a shower. I'm gonna head down to the mess hall and grab some snacks. You want anything? I feel sorry for these guys, except I don't. Well, I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Trails of Cold Steel. As I'm more than certain shit's gonna hit the fan. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.